So remember, rapid fire, I'm gonna ask you a random question. These are fun, easy ones, and you just say the first thing that comes to your mind. Ready? Okay. Okay, what was your first ever job? Uh, worked at a bookshop. Oh, and how old were you? 14. Let's say you have your, you could have three dream dinner guests. Who would it be, dead or alive? Oh God, these are really good questions. Dead or alive, three dream dinner guests. I would like to interrogate uh, some peeps that were real mean to me <laughs> in Bombay. Go for it. <laughs> name those names. <laughs> name those names. No, I'm not gonna name those names. Who, I'm so bad at this game. Who do I want to do? Okay, Obama, Michelle, just cause I could be like, what's up y'all? Um, and Trump, just, just to see what happens. Just to see, just to watch them all. like watch actually no i don't can i take that answer back i just remember sure. the debate and i was yeah, like exactly that was terrible. that's what i was picturing um so the obamas okay the obamas either or or both you know let's do both RSVP. michelle's pretty either. awesome so yeah the both the, the two obamas and and nelson mandela okay uh if you could trade lives with anyone who would it be my former self myself at 18 just want to see what it was like to think that way again is that too esoteric okay okay that's like the first time i've ever had that answer on the show so there you go okay i'm gonna stick with it <laughs> i get it okay name your first celebrity crush shit i was such a nerd who's my first one it's gotta be like a boy bander i feel like you grew up like i grew up so come on I so didn't listen to any pop music in the night. Like, it's really embarrassing. I don't know the words to anything. All my friends had like posters of dudes. I just wasn't, I was literally like, let's listen to Jagdeet Singh. Like, like I was a full, like goody two shoes, but I was like, it's really bad. Um, who was my first crush? This boy in grade six. Like, okay. has to be celebrity. Oh, you said celebrity? Celebrity, I was like, is he now famous? I think there's so many, do you know how many times I get asked to do these rapid fires and I'm so crap at them every time. I guess, girl. <laughs> what about us? There's Australian um, soap operas, Home and Away. There's okay, so many hunts. Okay, 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 best story. And I hope Daniel McPherson is listening to this, who was in Neighbours for many years. I don't know if anyone saw that. I happened to work with him on a job. I can't believe I'm doing this. Um, in the for a, a UK series two years ago, we're in Penang shooting. We played love interests, and Dan McPherson was a heartthrob when I was in high school. Like he was these like all the teen magazines, but I was so not interested. But I just also found it hilarious that I now had to like snog Dan McPherson for this role. So I rocked up to Penang, and he was like, so "How old are you?" And I told him, he was like, "Do you watch Neighbours?" Because I was like. No, no, I didn't. And he was like, really? Because, you know, I was like the Prince of Dolly. And I was like, yeah, I, I just have no idea, buddy. And I just think he just couldn't register because he was like peak famous at the time I yeah. was in high school. And I was like, I actually found Neighbours super white and polarizing in its storytelling. So <laughs> I'm sure he loved hearing very that. Close, very close friend of mine today. But I was like, what are the chances? Like he would have been the person that I should have been like crooning over. But that's also to give you an example of the fact that I literally was in this denial of what was happening in pop culture. That's just me. Favorite cheat meal. What's your cheat meal? Uh, I'm always cheating. Like I just ate halva before I came here. I'm for me, if I eat something healthy, it's like good. I'm not a, I'm not a dieter. So, but ice cream, I love sweets. I'm just an eater. Cool. Uh, what was the first ever concert you attended? Oh, this again, it's like, I'm so uncool. I'm so uncool. It was literally like, I think it was like Kavita Krishnamurti coming to Australia, like. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, you're, uh, you're serious. I gotta be honest, I can't be cool. I'm just not, I was a really uncool kid, man. Hey, it's all about honesty on in this game, so. Yeah, um, I had like what... a monobrow, it was, yeah. Can you send me a photo? I will send you a photo. Okay, perfect. Uh, what's something about you that most people wouldn't know? That I speak fluent French. Ooh. Bonjour. <laughs> I need to improve my French. I live in Canada and French is our official second language. I should really teach me, please. Yeah, I studied in France. What's the most Australian thing about you? Oh my God, so much. I mean, just listen to the way I talk. 
um, uh, my love of cricket, my love of beer, just just how open I am, you know, just keeping keeping my heart open for all the peeps. I don't know, I'm just talking nonsense, but yeah, I'm I'm a Perth-born Aussie larrikin woman. It just, my friends in Australia are like, I don't understand why you have such a identity like struggle because you're the biggest bogan we know. And like a bogan is the equivalent of like a real kind of peak Australian person. Okay, I'm learning so, so much. Like, really? They're like, yeah, we've seen you drink beers at the pub. So yeah, I'm very Aussie. What's the first thing you're going to do once lockdown is over? I'm going to go and find someone to snog. <laughs> That's right. That's right. That's what you're going to do. It's been a while. I think it's perfectly natural. Just like run out and I'm, I'm be like, here. come on, guys. Who is there? Girls, guys, whatever. <laughs> Give it. Bring it in. Give me some I love more. it. Okay. And the last question. If you could ask another celebrity a rapid fire question, who would the celebrity be and what the question would be? Again, celebrities. Um, well, just because no one's going to know Jim from grade six <laughs> or your neighbor. That's why I have to use celebrities, okay? <laughs> okay, you're right. You're right. Grinda, I would like to ask you how you felt directing one of the first mainstream TV shows which decolonized the story um, of British India for the world. Was that empowering? Great question. All on your own too. I love that. I know. I know. Just need a lot of coaxing and I get there. Okay. And that's it. So no more torture for you. Thank <laughs> you so like, much. I think we're all like traumatized. By oh, you definitely. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed my interview. For more videos like this, please subscribe to the channel.